Welcome back, everybody. Now, if you think you're a good multitasker, think again. You may not be as good as you think. In fact, here's why an expert says it could be a lot more harmful than helpful. Hello. These days, we feel compelled to multitask. You can thank the digital age for that. We watch TV while surfing the internet, talk on the phone while driving, and email while having a conversation. Multitasking means that a computer can do multiple jobs at one time. So if you look at the original definition, it was designed for a computer, not a human brain. We multitask to help us save time. But is it hurting us more than helping us? The more we do that, the more our brains shut down, and that's why we have a harder time filtering out distractions. So we become more distracted, we tend to multitask more, and it's a vicious cycle because we can't get things done. Certified professional organizer Helene Segura is known for helping San Antonians kick chaos to the curb. Because they are trying to multitask and they are trying to juggle so much, that's why they feel out of balance. So that multitasking is not working and that's when they reach out to me because they say, I can't do it. To see how well high-level tasks are performed simultaneously, we conducted a non-scientific test of our own. Meet our subject, Christina, a San Antonio teacher and self-proclaimed multitasker. A lot of times I can be reading with TV on and music and texting at the same time and still know what's going on in each of the different things that I'm working on. She agreed to help us by going through different scenarios designed with the help of Helene. You are going to love this little project that we're going to do right now. The first step, watch an interview of her favorite movie, Twilight. But she has to pay attention. We've got three questions here. How many times do Kristen and Robert look at each other? What is the author planning for Bella and Edward? And how many contact lenses were used during the movie? Plus, Christina will have to sort out papers. Which papers have account numbers on them? Because those need to get shredded. You just tear them up. Christina listens to the interview. As Taylor says, insane. She looks through papers and sorts them out. I found them all. Minutes later, how did Christina do? What was happening was task switching because you'd look down at the paper in order to read and then when you would hear the voices come up, you would look at the, the screen. You went through the papers a couple of times because you set these papers off to the side and then you'd go back through it again. And if a distraction isn't there, you'd most likely be able to go through the papers just one time, saving a little bit of time. <laughs> Turns out, Christina answered the questions correctly. So, the answers are, how many times did Kristen and Robert look at each other? Twice. What is the author planning for Bella and Edward? What did you come up with? That they were going to show what um, happens to them after the last one. Exactly. And then, you were also correct on the contact lenses. There were over 100 pairs used. So, good job on answering the question. Next, we watch how writing an important letter while being distracted or handled. You have three minutes to compose a letter to your landlord to talk him out of doubling your rent. You ready? Christina writes the letter to her landlord, but we haven't told her she's about to get distracted by her friend and our associate producer, Roger Soto. What's up? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I haven't seen your grandma. How's she? After this, I was going to see uh, if you wanted to go get something to eat. Anything, really. I mean, I'm not hungry yet, but I probably will be in a little while. Three minutes are up, and how did she do? We're about to find out. Let's see how you did. Dear landlord. Rent is already high enough. I've been a loyal tenant for three years, so raising the rent is not fair. I don't know. Christina completed the handwritten letter, but something caught Helene's attention. Uh, did you realize that every time you spoke, the pen stopped? And those questions from her phone call? If they were more why questions or how yeah. questions where you had to come up with more thought. Oh, the questions yeah, okay. needed to be more open-ended. But as for Christina, how did she feel about how she performed? I think I did okay, not mm -hmm. as good as I wanted to do, but the, fir the first one was interesting. I'm a partial multitasker. Maybe not a full-on one that I thought I was. But so, are we true multitaskers or are we task switchers? Helene reminds us the answer is in the research. That's how our brains operate. We're not meant to do, at least not yet anyway, we haven't evolved yet. We're not meant to do all of these high level tasks simultaneously for a long period of time. And joining us right now 
is Helene Segura, who you just saw, a certified professional organizer. This was so fascinating to me because I always hear about people saying that they can multitask. And so, mm -hmm. actually, we cannot. No, what we do is task switching mm -hmm. if it's at a higher brain level. Now, we can multitask at a lower brain level, like we can run the dishwasher and cook at the same time because there's not a whole lot of thought that goes into it. But when thought is required, that's when we have trouble. So, you know, a lot of employers are going to be looking for people who say, well, I need somebody who can do a, uh, multiple tasks, but they mm -hmm. won't probably admit I need a multitasker. They just need somebody who's very productive. So, right. what should we do? Well, hopefully, that employer will realize all the brain research says no to multitasking mm -hmm. and that's why it's kind of fallen off all of the job applications as to having that because skill. back in the 90s that was a big buzzword exactly everybody wanted a multitasker mm -hmm. but now all the research is showing that if you have 15 minutes to complete three tasks it's better to give each task five minutes each rather than try to do all three at one time because we do a far better job when we focus just one item at a time. Okay, how about moms and dads <laughs> who are at home who say, no, Helene, I have to multitask. Well, like I said, we can multitask at lower brain levels. Mm -hmm. So if you need to go ahead and throw the laundry into the washer and then run down and start the dishwasher and cook out all at the same time, those are all lower level brain skills. You can get three things done at once. If the problem is when you have to think about something, like have a serious discussion with somebody, mm -hmm and try to do something important like write a check at the same time. Okay, and I'm going to wrap this up too because I want to mention that, you know, you can't do it eight hours of the day, so yeah. little by little, correct? Right, one focus at a time, even if it's for only five minutes. Okay, Helene, thank you okay. so much. You're so welcome. Oh, thank you.